This is a quick tutorial on Flash to After Effects workflow. When I take this scene into After Effects, I want to be able to edit each object individually, so what I did was I placed each object in a separate folder on the timeline. For this workflow, I want to export each folder as its own Swift file. This way, I can import each file into After Effects as its own layer. I do this by deleting the folders I don't want to export, and then in the Publish settings, I export a Swift with a name that reflects what layer it is. Hit Publish to export it, and then hit OK to get back to the timeline. After each publish, I undo the folder deletions, and then do it all again for a new folder. If deleting folders gets you nervous, you can always just set the layers you don't want to export as guide layers. However, it's much more tedious, especially if you have plenty of layers. With this done, I open up After Effects and import the flash files I just made. I drag them into a new composition and I'm basically done. The stack order for the layers might be incorrect, so just fix that up. Now that it's in After Effects, I can do the editing that is difficult to do in Flash. Vignettes, quick and easy blurs, and quick color grading are some of the things that I did for this shot. Another thing to note about Swift files and After Effects is that if you hit the Collapse Transformations checkbox in the timeline, then the Swift is treated as a vector image, meaning you can scale up without losing quality. This can be useful for fixing sizes or doing zooms for a scene.